Hi there, my name is Simon and in this video we're going to take a closer look at the trading fees and also at the withdrawal fees of Qcoin. I'm also going to show you how you can reduce your trading fees by 20% and also how you can earn some passive income by earning part of the trading fees of other Qcoin users. So let's get into the video. So let's now check out the fees of Qcoin, so trading fees and withdrawal fees. Now to get to their fee schedule, we have to hover over the account icon right here on the top right. And then we're going to click on trading fees, which will take us to their fee schedule. So the base fee that you're going to have to pay for a level zero account is 0.1% for a market maker and market taker. Now the difference between market maker and market taker, so market maker are basically people who are putting in a limit order. So they say, I want to, for example, sell one Bitcoin at $58,000 and a market taker is somebody who's just taking that offer. So they are basically taking liquidity and a market maker is providing liquidity because they are putting orders in the order book and then when somebody wants to buy something, they can immediately buy that, taking that offer that the market makers uh, are providing. Now, <laughs> maybe you don't understand this from my explanation. If you are interested, you can just Google market maker, market taker, and then you understand it. Um, the, the difference mostly is that as a market taker, you're going to have to pay more in fees because you are taking liquidity as opposed to providing liquidity as a market maker. But as a level zero account here, it doesn't really matter. You're going to have the same fees for market maker or market taker. So you can uh, put in a market order and the fees are going to be the same as a limit order. So and then they have a so, uh, some kind of level structure. So the more you trade, the less you're going to have to pay in fees. So as you can see, my account currently is level zero because I trade less than 50 Bitcoin in volume per month. Now, probably for me, it's going to stay that way. Maybe if some of you trade a, a lot of cryptocurrency, then you might get to a higher level here. If you trade more than 50 Bitcoin per month, you're going to get to the level one um, to the level one fee schedule, which will get you a 0.09% fee as a market maker. So for putting in limit orders, and then the more you trade um, in volume, the less the fee will be obviously. Now they have a similar fee structure for the futures trading there. The fees are a bit lower. So for level zero, it's 0.02 market maker, 0.06 market taker. And then obviously the more you trade, the less fees you're going to have to pay. Now let's switch over to the deposit and withdrawal fee rate here. So depositing cryptocurrency, they are not going to charge any fees for that. All the fees that you're going to have to pay for the for the depositing is the withdrawal fee from the other exchange or um, also the network fee for confirming that transaction. And then the withdrawal fee, it's going to be different for each cryptocurrency. For example, let's type in BTC you're going to have to pay a 0.005 fee uh, in Bitcoin for uh, with withdrawing Bitcoin from Qcoin. Um, Litecoin, for example, it's 0.001. And obviously, they also have minimum withdrawal amounts. Now, there is a way how you can reduce your trading fees by 20%. So for level zero, you can reduce your trading fees from 0.1% to 0.08%. And all you have to do to decrease your trading fees is to pay your trading fees using the platform token of Qcoin, which is KCS, the Qcoin token. So all we have to do here is buy KCS and then turn on the feature of paying our trading fees with KCS. So I'm going to quickly show you how we can buy some KCS and also how we can turn on this feature. So the first thing we have to do is go to assets right here because I have to trade over the cryptocurrency from my main account to my trading account. So then I can actually use the um, crypto to trade. I have some Litecoin in my account. So I'm just going to click on transfer right here. I'm going to transfer from my main account to my trading account. And I'm going to transfer a Litecoin because that's all I have. Let's just trade all of it. Confirm. And now it's in my trading account. So I'm going to go to trade here on the top. Click on spot trading right here and that will open up the trading interface. If you haven't locked, if you haven't um, gone to this screen uh, yet, you have to type in your trading password on the bottom right before you can start trading. And then I'm going to look for the currency pair of Litecoin KCS. 
So um, let's type in LTC and there's LTC KCS, so Litecoin and Qcoin uh, token. I'm going to choose this and then I'm going to just sell some Litecoin for the market price. Currently, uh, it's uh, people are selling for uh, 28.936. So I'm just going to do a market order here on the bottom, click on market. And then I'm going to um, just sell, let's say, 25% of, of Litecoin. Click on uh, sell LTC. And then I should have some um, Qcoin tokens in my uh, account. So as we can see here, this order has been filled. And now what I want to do is I want to activate the feature of being able to pay my trading fees using the KCS token. And it's kind of hidden right here. So when you go to the bottom right, it's just right here. So all you have to do here is check this box right here. And when you have this checked, then your trading fees will be paid using the KCS token. And now when we go back to our, um, to our account icon right here, we can see that our fee is now 0.08% instead of 0.1%. And just like that, we have just reduced our trading fees. And another cool feature of Qcoin is that you're able as a Qcoin user to earn from everybody using this exchange from their trading fees. So 50% of all the fees that this platform makes is gonna be distributed back to people who are actually holding their platform token. So when we go to finance and then click on KCS bonus, then you can see that for holding KCS, you have to hold at least six KCS tokens in order to be able to earn from the trading fee. So as you can see here, I'm holding 9.96 um, KCS tokens. I think I have bought some yesterday or the day before, and there's already some um, KCS rewards in my in my account. So what we have to do is every day you can click on save to wallet and then the rewards will increase because you're holding more KCS tokens. So again, all you have to do here is just buy some KCS, hold it in your Qcoin account, and then you're gonna automatically get some um, payments into your account uh, in KCS tokens. So that's a very cool way you can also earn some passive income here um, through, the, through the fees of other people using this exchange to your Qcoin account. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, I'd really appreciate if you'd click that thumbs up button down below. Also, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you wanna see more videos just like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.